Good morning, everyone. 大家早上好。Are you ready for the whole day? 你们为一整天预备好了吗 ？All right, we are at the fifth message. 今天是第五场的呃信息。Now I'm going to give you something very important, especially in relation to all our spirituality. 呃，今天我们要听的是跟我们的灵性很有关关联的。Now, it is my wish to see young people rise up to serve the Lord in their best capacity. 啊，我最呃大的心愿是看到年轻的人，他们能够兴起来来侍奉主。呃 ，This conference is not just a concept or a big idea about what the world is and how to see world issues. 啊，这个特会不在于我们要呃，不只是限于要我们我们要怎样看这个世界。It's not just getting a PhD, you know. 呃，不但是要得到什么呃博士学位。And the world will not be changed unless remnants truly serve the Lord. 但是，除非渔民真正的服侍主，不然这个世界不会改变。But it's not ordinary serving, but to serve Him with full holiness. 但是不是普通的侍奉，乃是以圣洁来侍奉。Now, if you could see, young people are all being indoctrinated, enticed, or stirred up to serve the world nowadays. 呃，现在我们看到年轻人，他们常常受到很多的教导。然后他们很得到很大很多的启发来服侍。And the mind is confused, their time is given to the world. 所以他们的头脑很混乱，他们的时间都交给世界。And that is the reason why the world and its civilizations are extending its influence powerfully. 所以这个世界还有它的文明一直在伸展它的势力。So if you look at the descendants of Cain. 所以如果你看该隐的后裔。And these are people who raise livestock. 他们就是呃抚养啊，他们就是看看守呃动物。And they created captivating musical instruments. 然后他们也制造很多乐器，吸引人的乐器。And they forged tools and weapons. 他们也制造武器。And it's now as if they are driving the world economies. 啊，看起来他们好像在推动整个世界的经济。And they develop sophisticated. Science and technologies. They also invented science and technology. And they bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also bring art and music to new heights. And they also And it is one of the reason why you see, you know, conservatives are changing to liberals. So this is why we see the conservatives changing to liberals. But you seldom see the liberals changing to conservatives. But we seldom see the liberals changing to conservatives. And the church will be forced to compromise with the world, but you don't see the world compromise with the church. Ah, the world often is forced to compromise with the world, but we don't often see the world compromising with the church. So at the end of it, you see that this world will be controlled by godless and humanistic people. So at the end of it, you see that this world will be controlled by godless and humanistic people. Until when, my brethren? Ah, until when? Until the rising up of the remnants. 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 And as we read yesterday, the worship of Baal in Israel continued under the rise of Prophet Elijah and Elisha. Ah, so this, uh, worship Baal in this thing continued until Elijah and Elisha were the first to rise. So the rising of remnants are so critical in bringing about the reversal of humanistic cultures. So the remnants' rising is very important. This can bring about the reversal of humanistic cultures. The remnants are so critical in bringing about the revival of the church. So, the remnants are also very important. They can bring about the revival of the church. You can see this all throughout church history. We 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 can
and churches being carried along by the tides of secularism. Now, the remnants must rise up. But I must emphasize not only to rise up, but rise up and make a critical impact to the church, which then influence the world through their serving. Samuel rise up to serve as Israel judge, and he led the whole Israel to repentance. So Samuel was sent to serve as Israel judge, and he led the whole Israel to repentance. And David did not just rise up as a king; he made preparations for the temple. Then David not just was sent to serve as a king; he made preparations for the temple. Then David not just was sent to serve as a king; he made preparations for the And he started the school of prophets to raise other prophets. Then Elisha, he is a prophet, but he also prepared the prophets of the school to teach other prophets. They have all done a very critical work, critical serving for the church. So they have all done a critical serving for the church. So our conviction must lead to our serving. 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 And now our conviction must lead to our serving. So now our conviction must lead to our serving. But it's not just any house serving; it's the consecrated serving. But it's not just any house serving; it's the consecrated serving. It's not as if you serve as you have time or serve as you like. Ah, not when you have time you serve, or when you serve according to your heart to serve. You serve knowing the glory of God Himself. Serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most critical race in your life. You serve as you are running the most And the capacity in which we serve will make all the difference in the world and generations after. So, if we divide our lives into three parts, our service will have a very big impact on the world and our generations after. I was praying for you this morning. So, I pray for you this morning. And honestly, it's my wish to see that the best among you become pastors and preachers, and teachers of the word. My wish is that you among you will become pastors and teachers of the word. And then, most of you will serve as pastors. Most of you serve as cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school teachers. Then you most likely will become cell group leaders, youth leaders, or Sunday school Professions that you have, the engineers, the teachers, accountants among us. So we know that we have engineers, accountants, teachers. The students also, they are also parents. No, these are your professions. Ah, we also have students, and also parents. These are your professions. Now, what do you do with it? Now, what do you do with it? Career advancement. Just always think about career advancement. Or is it to realize your self-worth? And that's not what a remnant will do. That that is not what the remnant will do. You see, a remnant doesn't compartmentalize between his profession and calling as a Christian. Ah, a remnant he won't separate his calling and his career. I'll give you an example. Give me an example. And my daughter is from a Christian school. Ah, my daughter comes from a Christian school. And parents are all very active and concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's well-being or academic in school. So, parents are all very concerned about the children's Who is a remnant doesn't just join a parental group in school to get updates about children's school-related activities. Ah, 但是一个呃基督呃一个基督徒的母亲不但是会参与这样的呃小组来知道孩子们在学校发生什么事。She joins to know other parents and in the hope of bringing them to Christ. 她是为了要认识其他的父母，要把他们带到基督面前才参加这样的小组。There is a mission in her mind, a set apart goal. Now, my wife is a housewife. 
我的太太是个家庭主妇 some people say you shouldn't call people housewife because they don't marry to the house, no? <laughs> now, well, you see, now, other than the church, my wife doesn't have much outside contacts. Uh, uh, but recently, she got an invitation to a secondary class union. Then she prayed about it and decided to go for it, and I, and I encouraged her to go also. And then she knows some of these people, you know, smoke and drink as if they're going for a party and all. So, so, so she went with a definite purpose for evangelism. She might herself to be led by the Spirit. And guess what? She found some classmates actually listen to our church message. And are some classmates in depression, and some going through divorce, you know. And she ministered to them. And you see, when you are set apart, you will get divine appointment. And you will see divine help. And some people always tell me, Pastor, it's not practical, you know, it's, it's not possible, hard to talk about the Christian faith nowadays. And then some people try to provide some way to engage people, you know, don't try to be too outright, you know, what you should say, and all. I mean, you may all have ways of doing it, but that's not the point. Well, whatever you choose to do, what is most critical is that it got to do with your holiness, that is your consecrated heart and mind. You see, it's not just for a particular encounter where you celebrate, oh, I got some divine appointment. But to live as a whole person for the Lord Himself. You know, I once know a, a female Christian teacher in China who actually tries to minister to her students about God while working as a teacher. You know, this is a no-no in China society, you know? It's dangerous. But she has really impacted several students. And then this went on, but gets around, and principal knew about it. But somehow for reasons I don't I don't know, the principal just let her go on doing it. You see, we might, be, we might think uh, maybe she has some clout or inf, uh, influence as with what most Chinese people would think. But no, she's merely someone who does her job faithfully, but she lives out the dignity and clarity of a Christian. She doesn't have any noble connections, but she has a noble purpose. And then somehow God protected her. And you see, God could have moved the hearts of the people around her to tolerate with her somehow. We don't know. She is puzzled too. You see, now many of the believers I know are troubled by the fact that these things don't happen to them. They say, Pastor, we don't have this kind of bosses, we don't have this kind of superior or colleagues, no. They say, if I talk about God at work, I'll be shunned by colleagues. And I hear Christian teachers say, no, if I... Talk about God in school, you know, I could be put out of job, you know. This is a circular state, you know. But let me tell you, that is exactly the reason why the story of Joseph, story of Daniel, merely sounded like an idealistic Bible story to most Christians. Because it's simply like not doable. So we go around looking for practical ways of evangelism, we try to emulate what others are doing, you know. Uh, so we try to keep looking around, is there any successful people who, who's doing the same thing, who make it 
in their career. So we are always trying to find some successful people. So they are very successful in their career. And then they are also Christians. You know? Is there any ministers who are Christian? They made it to the minister post. And I know, no, we try, we try to hear all those testimony. Let me tell you, that's not the consecrated way. Now let's go to the Bible to get the answers for this. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 2. Very short verse, verse 20 and 21. In a large house, verse 20, in a large house there are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for noble purposes and some for ignoble. If a man cleanses himself from the later, he will be an instrument for noble purposes, made holy, useful for the master, and prepared to do any good work. In a large house, there are not only gold, silver, and wood, but also wood and clay. If a man cleanses himself from the later, he will be an instrument for noble purposes, made holy, useful for the master, and prepared to do any good work. In a large house, now it says here there's a large house. I suppose that means to say the kingdom of God. So here, here, talking about a large house. So I think this represents the kingdom of God. Now, and we know in the kingdom of God there are many, many denominations, many Christians, many churches, many denominations. So we know that in the Christian church there are many different faiths, many different denominations. And and many Christians also. And they are all articles or vessels for the master's use. So they are all articles or vessels for the master's use. And in a large house, it's a large house. Also means that there's no short of workers and servers in his kingdom. So large house also means that in God's kingdom, we don't lack servants or workers. But very quickly, the Bible made a very significant distinction to the articles, to the vessels to be used. So the Bible made a very significant distinction to the articles, to the vessels to be used. But the Bible made a very significant distinction to the articles, to the vessels to be used. They are classified as noble. And ignoble instruments. So there are noble and there are ignoble instruments. And someone once asked me a question. So, ah, someone once asked me a question. He said, "Pastor, can God use all Christians?" He said, "Pastor, can God use all Christians?" I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter of how they will be used." I said, "Yes, but it is only a matter And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other people's life. And then you compare this to a believer who makes significant impact to other 所以一个呃基督徒父母他敬畏神，所以他就讲我要把我的孩子也抚养成一个敬畏神的人，他有好的品格、好的道德观等等。Intention is good, but only for his own self. 这个意图是好的，但是只只是为自己。An own child. 还有为自己的孩子。And by compare this to someone who came to impact many many children, many youths, and many young parents for the Lord while learning how to raise his own child. 然后另外一个基督徒，他在呃学习抚养自己的孩子的过程当中，他也愿意祝福其他的孩子、其他的青少年，还有其他年轻的父母。It's a whole lot of difference in spirituality and nobility. 他们的他们在他们的伟大和灵灵性方面有巨大的不同。You can see the significant difference in in the glory of their thinking. 他们呃在意念上的那个荣耀的想法有。So for young working adults, in one who selflessly care for the glory of God and impacting friends and colleagues for the gospel throughout his working life. 一个年轻的呃基督徒，他在工作的时候，他就是一直想到神的荣耀，他要把福音带给他旁边的人。
And such a Christian has long put his promotion and salary raise aside. And the other one, yes, he wants to serve the Lord, but always trouble about career advancement and how whether the company will recognize him. You see, the, the difference in glory is revealed by the nobility of the godly purpose one has in God. Now I'm going to stop. If I'm going to stop with this truth here, you know, noble and ignoble. And I ask, you know, which category will belong to everyone will be full of reproach, you know. Because we know, as a matter of fact, we fall short in a lot of ways. But there's a good news here. Because it says, if a man know how to cleanse himself from the ignoble purpose, He'll be used for the noble purpose and be a noble instrument. And he's made holy, fitting for use for the master. So the good news is no matter how ignoble mind you have now, you know, whether it stems out from your self-centeredness, your foolishness, your short-sightedness, whatever. It's possible to cleanse ourselves and out of it, out of that ignoble purpose, we'll be used for nobility. We could be a great and dignified instrument in the sight of God if we cleanse ourselves from it. How to cleanse ourselves from now? This is the message for the next session. I'll come to that, okay? But what I want to talk about now, okay, as pertaining to this message, is when you cleanse yourself, the Bible says you are being made holy. Look at this. You see, I keep repeating holy. What is holiness again, people? You see, God is holy. In Isaiah chapter 6, when the seraphim praise him, they say, Holy, 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 right? Now, what does that mean? Holiness is not just righteous. It's not just good. It doesn't mean loving. And the angels doesn't say, no, loving, loving, loving God. Loving God, Father, Son, and Almighty. No. It says holy. There is something critically more than just being righteous or being good. Holiness has got to do with consecration. I kept repeating that. Being made totally different. And as it is, God is holy, God is intrinsically and totally different from all created beings. So I said, we, we take the Holy Communion, right? We just partake. We don't say the communion is good. We don't call it good com communion because the communion is consecrated. Yeah, the coming together of the saint is pure and consecrated. It cannot be defiled, it cannot be taken lightly. Uh, it's not like some social gatherings, oh, got bread and wine, I'll just eat and drink, and, and you know, it's not like that. And it is where the saints remember the death and resurrection of the Lord, and by that, we yearn to love one another with what? With a holy love. Uh, the holy love. The love that is not found anywhere in the world. 
所以这个这样的爱是在世界各个地方都找不到。And by that we put away all our differences or prejudice for one another. 然后我们就放下我们对彼此的偏见，还有呃分歧。Why? Because of a holy and consecrated love that we receive through holy communion while remembering the holy God, what He has done for us. 因为在圣餐的时候，我们得到神圣洁的爱，因为我们想到这个神的爱，神圣洁的神。And I can tell you that the sense of holiness. So failed the early church that wherever they defiled the holy communion by remaining impenitent, continuing their sins, what did Paul say? Someone just fall sick and even died. So, in the early church, this kind of holy feeling filled the whole church. Even in the early church, if there was a person who was not holy, they even died or were sick. Let's think about it. You know, sometimes I was thinking holy communion. I saw some brother who hates the other fellow, or not happy with each other. Still taking holy communion. Sometimes I was thinking, you know, sometimes I was thinking holy communion. 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 Sometimes I was That shows that the holiness of God is really among His people. It is something that cannot be despised or taken lightly. So that shows that God's holiness is really among His people. It is something that cannot be despised or taken lightly. So that shows that God's holiness is really among His people. It is something that cannot be despised or taken lightly. So that shows that God's holiness is really among His people. It is something that cannot be despised or taken lightly. So that shows that God's holiness is really among His people. It is something that cannot be despised or taken lightly. So that shows that God's holiness is really among His people. You will always be puzzled. Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all these blessings? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people like Joseph, Daniel get all the blessings of meeting the divine appointment? Why do people 然后在呃呃学校或是在工作，我很难有这个传福音的门。You got to do with your holiness, my brethren. 这是跟你的圣洁有关系。You know, my wife once asked me this question. 那我太太曾经问过我这个问题。He said, "Hey, how do you get message so fast, so precise, and so needed by the congregation?" 他说：“你怎么可以这么快、这么精准的得到信息，然后又是我们啊弟兄姐妹们所需要的 ？”Sometimes she's tempted to ask me, "Hey, you want to try lead my cell group?" 所以她有时候就很想叫我帮她带小组。Because why, you know, you just take five minutes, open the Bible, five minutes. I I've been sitting there like two hours, nothing comes in my mind. 啊，所以因为她说你五分钟打开圣经就可以预备出一个信息，但是我坐在那边两个小时还是不能。And I simply reply her, "You have to hear from God." 所以我只是回答他，你要啊、uh, 听见神。She said, "Of course I know lah, but precisely, how do you hear from God?" 他也说我也懂，但是要怎样听见神 ？And I looked her in the eye and said, "You have to be holy." 所以我就直视他，我说你要圣洁。Some of you might be puzzled. Why pastor tell the wife to be holy? You know? 那你们有些人说，为什么牧师叫师母要圣洁 ？You mean she's unholy? 难道她不圣洁吗 ？She has been a virtuous wife, faithful to me all her life. You know? 啊，她是一个很贤惠的太太，呃，一生也对我忠心。Why would the pastor tell her to be holy? No. 所以牧师跟师母说要啊，圣洁是什么意思 ？No. When I say you have to be holy, I mean you have to be consecrated. 所以我说你要圣洁的意思就是你要被分别为圣。Now listen, remnants, preachers, cell group leaders, Sunday school teachers, and whoever serving in word ministry, listen carefully. To get a clear message from God. It's very little to do with sitting there five hours, you know. So, uh, 渔民、小组组长、任何人，呃，有预备、有分享神的话的人，我们要很清楚。呃，当我们要呃圣洁的时候，我们要分别为圣的时候，不是坐在那边几个小时。Now, of course, you need the hard work and work on the message and all, but it is holiness, the consecrated heart that you need to have to hear from God first. 当然，你需要你的努力，你需要下功夫，但是你真的需要直接听到神。Now when I'm preaching this, can you sense the holiness and what happens for the last three hours? And I wake up in the morning and my communion with God. Do you sense that? So when you hear this message, you can feel that I spent three hours with God. That is the holy consecration. So that is the whole consecration. And not only for this conference, but throughout my life, as I study the Lord, 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 as I study the L
不但只是这个特会，但是呃，我一生当我侍奉神的时候。Now listen, to get a divine appointment wherever you go is not about just using your wits or ways. No. 你要有这个神圣的遇见，你无论去哪里，不但是靠你的聪明。It's not trying to get in the, in, in the good books of your superior or try to be a Mr. Nice guy at work. Ah, 也不是要拍你老板的马屁，或是在公司里面做一个好人。You must know that the problem is not also not about a lack of opportunities. 那个问题也不是你没有机会。It's a lack of holiness. 是缺乏圣洁的问题。Ways and opportunities come from the Holy Spirit. Uh, Yet the Holy Spirit moves powerfully and subtly in our holiness. Ah, 但是只有在我们的圣洁里面的时候，圣灵才会大有能力的做工。Now, Raymond, try to get a very concrete sense about what is holiness. 所以我们对圣洁要有很具体的了解。Now I say, if you wake up in the morning and then you spend an hour scrolling through your handphones, 如果你早上起来，你花一个小时在划手机。What's new on Instagram or Facebook? You know what my friends are doing. No, I tell you, that's not holiness. You have to look at social media. What is new? My friends are doing what? That's not holiness. No, it's not just the act. That's not just the act. But the mind and emotions that give in to this tendency and have, always having your fresh morning overwhelmed with the news of secondary importance. 啊，但是我们的心思跟我们的情感，每个早上都屈服于什么是新鲜的。That is not consecration. 那个不是被分别为圣。Now you get through the the same day as the ordinary folks. 啊，我们跟一般的人一样过呃一天。Easily getting frustrated when things not done, you know, blaming others for things not going your way. 然后事情呃不好的时候，我们就烦躁；我们不顺心的时候，我们就不开心。And work get busy, you succumb, you know, to pressure. That's not holiness. 然后呃忙起来的时候，我们就像压力屈服，那个不是呃圣洁。You don't get divine appointment this way. You only get carnal appointment. You know. 你这样的话，你不会有呃蒙恩的属灵的遇见，你只会有属肉的遇见。And sometimes I look at ministers in the service in the church. 有时候我们看到教会在服侍的人。The way they manage their time, the way they manage their lifestyle, the way they manage their relationship. 他们管理他们的时间，他们的生活方式，他们的关系。And the way they talk to people suggests to me that they don't understand holiness. 然后他们跟别人沟通的方式让我看到他们不明白什么是圣洁。No, I'm not saying they did something wrong. Okay. 我不是说他们做了什么错事。But it's circular. It's Typical, you know what I mean? 但是很世俗，很很典型。It's it's like every other ordinary folks you find on the street. 就好像一般在路上的人一样。They get angry the, with the same way. They get frustrated in the same situations. No. 他们跟世人一样会生气，然后在同样情况也会烦躁。And live the same way throughout the week, and then come the time to go to church, you just go and then you share the word and all. 然后他们一整个礼拜跟世人活的一样，然后到时间到了，他们就去教会。And then you try to minister to people, then. You find that the Holy Spirit doesn't speak through you. 然后，那当这样的人要牧养别人，他发现圣灵没有借着他说话。You try to talk to people and shepherd them, but the sense doesn't come. You know what I mean? 啊，他要呃牧养别人，但是他就是得不到那个感。Then you say, Pastor, people don't respond to me. People only respond to you because you are the pastor. 啊，他们就说啊，牧师，他们呃别人不向我有反应，他们只向牧师你有反应，因为你是牧师。That's not the point. It's holiness. 那个不是重点，呃，重点是。It's a consecrated life and living that allows the Holy Spirit to move through you, and then people are drawn to you. You know what I mean? 一个被分别为圣的生命，才能够让圣灵在你身上做工，然后吸引人。Now, let me make you understand what am I going through practically in learning holiness. 所以我很想让你呃让你们知道我在学习呃圣洁方面有什么实际的。Now I'm giving you an example, but I try not to pinpoint on a single thing. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to show you what is in me all together. I want to let you see what is in me all together. The thoughts that went through my mind, you know, the choice of words I use, the schedule of the day of the week where I go about planning, even waking up, exercising, spending time with my money,、uh, all these things all together. Ah, my thoughts, ideas, my choices, my whole day's life, my schedule, my exercise, my schedule, my schedule, etc. Including when to take out my handphone, scrolling through, and what to read, and what to listen, and when. 包括几时要拿起手机，要读什么，看什么。It's all consecrated. 都是被分别为圣。It's all yielding to the Lord's guidance. 都是按着神的引导的。Now I'm not perfect. 
but I know consecration is the way. It's not the do as I like way. You know what I mean? It's not just following my my temperaments, my tendencies, or my needs. Sometimes, you know, even I even have to put my needs aside if the Lord leads otherwise. You understand, we all human beings have needs, men and women. And one of the greatest needs we have is that I'm I want to be free to do anything and, and and to do it when I feel I like to. But even that remnant, it must be subjected to consecration of the Lord. Say for instance, sometimes uh, like you plan to go shopping, you want to watch a movie, you may plan to relax. You know. But let's say if the Lord leads otherwise, you got to do otherwise. You got to mean? And willingly. Now, what is holy living? One that is set apart fully to be used by the Lord. Now that is what the Bible says of a holy man who is useful to the master and prepared to do any good work. And now I can say a lot of people are not prepared to do the work of the Lord. Rather they are prepared to do their own work. And when they don't do it well, you know, they struggle with their self-worth and all. Now, let me end with this, okay? The Bible says, in Romans chapter 10, verse 18, Useful for the master when the instrument is holy. And to be prepared to do any kind of Good works. The wonderful instruments for the Lord. Now, let's think through this last point. Now, what do you think is the most used thing in the household? Uh, because it says useful for the master. Now, if you're a housewife, you say, well, I cook most of the time, so the work, the ladle, the cooking instrument are the most useful for me. But that's not the way to explain this Bible. The Bible didn't mean that, actually. The instrument that is useful for the master carries with it two elements. Okay? Two elements. First, it must reflect the splendid and the majestic image of the master. Now, the majestic and the splendid image of the master. Now, why do I say that? Because if you look at the verse, it says that gold and silver are regarded as noble articles, while wood and clay are ignoble, right? Hey, did, you, did, did you read the verse? Verse 20 says, In a large house, there are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. And then he went on to say, some are for noble purpose, which means the gold and silver, and some for ignoble, which is wood and clay. You know what I mean? Now, you see, so gold and silver, they are regarded as noble art, uh, uh, articles. Then you say, how about wood and clay? Wood and clay are useful also, right? I mean, say, in a house, there are wooden chairs. Uh, let's say clay is a durable material used in the interior of the wall. Yes, there are, while there are many articles in the household, but what best reflects 
the master, the splendid and majestic image of the master is gold and silver. 没错，在一个家有很多的器皿，但是最能够彰显这个主人的壮丽辉煌的形象，就是金的跟银的。This is most useful for him and most fitting for him. 这个是最合乎他用的。So understand, it is not so much of whether you are doing administrative or shepherding work in a church. 所以不在于你在教会里面是做行政的还是牧养的。Or whether you are a cell group leader, a Sunday school teacher, or a pastor preaching the word of God, you know. 或或者是你是牧师，你是小组组长，还是你是主日学老师。The point here is, are you bringing out the splendid image of God? 呃，重点是你有没有啊把神那个壮丽辉煌的形象带出来 ？You can be a pastor or cell group leader preaching the word, but if nothing in your living and the way you go about your ministry bring out the splendid, dignified image of the master, then it's not a noble thing you're doing. 所以，如果你是一个牧师或是小组组长，你分享神的话，但是在你的生活言行举止上，你没有把这个神呃这个主人壮丽辉煌的形象带出来，那你不是。And you may be sharing the word. You may not be necessary a noble instrument. You 虽然是分享神的话，但是你不一定是贵重的器皿。And then you may be very good in doing church administrative work, ushering work. Yes, you get can get things done, but it can be just. Getting things done, but not reflecting the splendid image of God. 或者是你在呃教会可以很好的做行政招待的工作，但是你只能把事情办好，你不一定能够彰显神那个壮丽辉煌的形象。One note here, I always tell people who are doing administrative work. 呃，我常常跟做行政的人说 ，You must be a different administrator. 你要做一个不一样的行政人员。Not just getting things done, you must think for the people. 你不但是要把事情做好。你还要为人来想。And I always told the CMC in the church, you know. 我常常跟教会的那个委员会说。See, I don't want to dictate everything or every decision you make. 我不要主宰你你所做的每一个决定。But you must think for the people who are serving the Lord wholeheartedly. Make things easy for them. 但是你要为这全心服侍神的人着想，然后让他们呃能够做事情比较容易。Be willing to bless them. Don't let them feel that you're always giving them the minimum. 然后让呃愿意祝福他们，不要让他们感受到你只有每次把最少的给他们。Don't let them feel that you are only doing things out of convenience. 不要让他们觉得你只是以方便来行事。Let them feel your love and care, not just the professionalism. You know what I mean? 不但让他们感受到你的专业，让他们感受到你的爱和关怀。Because by that you will bring out the glorious image of the master. 因为只有这样，你才能够把那个主人最荣耀的形象带出来。The key is don't be typical. If the administrator in your company do these things and you do it likewise, then you know that's not holy serving. But you know you are serving the holy church. Ah, 如果你公司的行政人员也跟你在教会做行政的时候是一样的，你知道那个不是圣洁的侍奉，但是你知道你在服侍一个圣洁的神。Now listen, our Lord, the Master, not just want things that are workable. He wants gold and silver. Vessels that reflects his image. Our Lord, He not only wants things that are workable, but He also wants gold and silver. Now, if you serve in this capacity, you are serving the church. 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 It doesn't rust. It doesn't corrode. It won't rust or corrode. Now, what can be really useful for the master? So, what kind of thing is useful for the master? It's not merely It's not merely something that's workable, but it must stand the test of time and trial. It's not merely something that's workable, but it must stand the test of time and trial. It's not merely something that's workable, but it must stand the test of time and trial. It's not merely something that's workable, but it must stand the test of time and trial. It's not merely something that's workable, but it must stand the test of time and trial. It's not merely something that's workable, but it must stand the test of time and trial. It's not merely something that's workable, but it must stand the test of time and trial. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a while, we don't see them anymore. But after a
That's why I always say in the church, I'm not looking out for people with a stroke of genius, you know. Uh, for example, bring some great ideas into the cell group or youth work or administrative work. No, I'm not looking for such people. I'm looking for people who can stay in it work on it and go through the hardship day to day struggles when they are administering the duties given by God. And that's how they will gain the favor of the master. Gold and silver, my brethren, it must last. Now, nobility means something that lasts. That's how they achieve, now that's how we will achieve breakthroughs in our life, in the ministries, if we serve this way. And that's how we will earn an inheritance for ourselves. And that's why I always say in a church, when I delegate a ministry to someone, it stays with a person and sometimes lifelong. And honestly, I get really comforted when I see people value the ministry that is given him as if it is his own inheritance. I get very comforted when I see people you know, take the self group faithfully for years and years. I get very confident when I see Sunday school teachers, you know, they not only engage the children but also engage the parents. They work with the parents, build up rapport with them and to help the child. And that's what long-lasting and holy serving is all about. Because all these things require time and effort and thinking through and even going through failures again and again. I don't want to hit and go, hit and go, you know, that kind. I want to keep on working on it attitude. I want young remnants to say, you know, even when exam is coming or work is getting busier, I can work it out. Pastor, I can work it out, no problem. I'm not going to let go or let someone take over just because studies and work is busy. You know? I want to work on it, I want to go through this. This is the way to consecration in serving. This is the way to be made holy, to be prepared to be used by the Master in all kinds of good works. But there is no need to feel discouraged if you feel that you fall short. I presume some people may think, oh, Pastor, then I am an ignoble instrument. That's why I've catered the next message. <laughs> How to be cleansed from what is ignoble, and then you become noble. The good news is this, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, I'll stop here for this message. And let's go to Lord in prayer. Father, thank you so much for this morning. And you've given us a very critical message on holiness. Being set apart for noble use. And as much as we could say, you know, it's how your Holy Spirit could prompt us to make us understand and confirm the, the word. And because you know there's so many things we might be troubled with, concerned of, or distracted. And while living in this world, sometimes the sense of unholiness just crept in. And then, and then we end up serving you with an unholy attitude. So God, I really pray for your 
for your work and upon our hearts and anointing upon us. So, pray, God, you in our hearts and also give us wisdom. Anoint us in a, in such a way that we could understand your word and resonate with it first. And such that we yearn holiness. And then we'll be used for your noble purpose. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Amen.